Good afternoon, everybody. I have something serious to say. Huh. I'm having a very happy moment right now. Because mm -hmm. as you all know, if you didn't, and if not, we'll explain it one day in a different vlog, a more of a serious one, but it was an extremely hard decision for Sarah and myself to move to Florida. Extremely. Very hard. It took months, so much years, turmoil. turmoil, deciding, talking, discussing, emotions, happy, sad, crying, all of the above. Times a million. And when we finally made the decision, one night in February, after like seven nights, or it was, I think honestly it was like six, five nights of like, come home from work, have Just a like long talk, talk about, or should we do this? <laughs> and finally at the end of the five days and we said, you know, and we finally, one of us just, we, I think we just said it. And we're like, we're doing it. We're gonna move to Florida. Then it was how, where, when, what capacity, where are we gonna get money? What are we gonna do? How are we gonna do it? We didn't have a dog then. Did we have a dog then? No. no, we didn't have a dog then. So then that was like changing. But what my goal was, I didn't know what job I'd have. Didn't know if we'd both have to work full normal jobs. If I'd be working weekends, second shift, third shift, first shift, hotels, not hotels. We didn't know. But all I said is, I want to be in Florida by Food and Wine Festival. And today, we're going to Food and Wine Festival. I see it. There it is. There's the first Food and Wine sign. Look at this sign. Epcot International. Food and Wine Festival. So excited, so excited. Gotta get it from the Instagram story. We learned something today. We were always curious why when I bump my magic band or my pass it goes purple, flashes purple instead of green like most people and it's because we're DVC members. So we'll have to see why mine is not. Yeah. I'm just as much of a DVC member as Peter. Exactly. We're here. We're here. What do you want to do first? Everything. Uh, everything, yes. Let's do a, a clockwise tour. Okay. And it's not even super busy like I thought it was, but they all might be getting the food. Look at this cool, look at the design this year. Taste your way around the world. It's like, it kind of reminds me of like an Epcot version of those tags that they have going on at, um... Yeah, the like... Travelware? Yes, the Travelware at Downtown Disney. $9.99, look at this cute hat. Taste your way around the world. Aprons, posters, such deliciousness. Ooh. Ooh, this is the nice Ooh. This is the fancy tray that you get and try to have all your food and drinks on it. Tear out paper placemats, that's cute. Here's the glass set. I like it a lot. It's a very like traditional looking design with that like that little map. And I like the little artistry representations of the places around the world. Yeah, like the style of it. Yeah. We could buy wine here. We could. And now Upcut Food and Wine can officially begin. We not only have our cool tour book that we're gonna like destroy this year by doing all and everything. But we got our first piece of like annual pass holderness. Sarah said they come out with a new a button every month. But here's the International Food and Wine Festival 2017 pass holder button. How great. Wait a minute. I thought we came to Epcot, not Disney Springs. Look at this cool thing. We got Jerry Deli. Because you got to come see the uh, chocolate displays that they go on, put on every year in the festival center. Look at this Moana. That's all edible. Um, I guarantee you that sand is brown sugar. Mm. Oh, Pandora. Beauty and the Beast. This is nice. Not as like uh, extravagant. Well, actually, look at those the detail. Those yeah. gold petals. Let me bite my tongue. Oh my god, the This is so funny because like this is literally what they are. Mm -hmm. 
I like that level up and the guy's beating up over there. Oh. Cute. I forgot these are all the different bakeries. This is the Polynesian crew who made this. I'm sure it is. And the winner gets to live in Disney World. Who is this Animal Kingdom Lodge? No, Grand Floridian. Look at the look at the bamboo leaves. My goal, and I've never even told Sarah this, is for us to come to one of these like these teachings and tastings that they offer here. Look at the cute lady in the tramp button pin. <laughs> is that a is this a dooney or no? No, yeah. it's a dooney. Annual pass holder yeah, coin. It's a that is a really nice bag. This reminds me of Schoolhouse Rock. I think it. I think it's supposed to be a spin-off of it. I wonder if it's the same artist. Oh, Whoa. look at that bell one. That bell one. But then look at that stitch one. Oh yeah. If you didn't know, like we've shown Sarah's collection of Snow Whites before, but I got a I got an okay size collection of stitch merchandise. We're at World Showcase now. For like the third time I've said it, it's officially begun. So they have stickers in the book this year, rather than getting your book stamped at the kiosks. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that because I like that they would actually do it for you. Like I could just go and put all these on there. But you're you got um, you're a reliable person and you've got a bit of OCD. So you would never go in there and just put all the stickers on there. So there's a sticker in the front that says food and wine that Sarah's we'll gonna put. To fill that out. We'll fill that stuff when we get home with a nice pen. Yeah. And now, Food and Wine Adventure 2017 All the Food Mega Fest has begun. Okay, I think we're set on doing Brazil, but we're not 100% sold yet because we're gonna wait until we're hungry and we're stuffed from Sarah's amazing chili that she made for dinner. Um, but I want to make a comment, and though we are only like four stands in, and I would, time will tell, the portions look really good this year. Have you looked at them? Yeah. I've seen a few guests walk by, like walking away with plates, and every stand so far has had like a good sized portion. Not that they were small before, but they're it's like tapas size. It's supposed to be tapas size because they want you to have multiple countries. But they look good this year. They look good and size. If you're interested in seeing all of the different menus from each country for our Fab Five Two Hundred Seven video this Friday, we're going to each booth and saying what's there and taking a look at the menu so you can see what the prices look like. Right there. No, right here. I'll get it done one day. Okay, we're over by all the wood carving stuff like that. And look at, they were actually wood carving here before. I've never seen that happen. I've never seen the carving going on. Ooh, Africa. This is, how do I feel like we've never had it? Asia. You name it, it lives here. Okay, I'm having an issue tonight if we're not going to be able to watch. Are we watching Illuminations? I don't know. She loves to whip in Disney World. It's like... Check it out. Sarah is currently trying to use social media to boost her chances of becoming the next Stacy. She wants Stacy <laughs> to oh retire. I and she wants to become. They no. did redo it in here. We would, we would be what? together. Can we, yes, Stay, when Stacy retires, we can we can re, we can be her replacements, and it could be a tag team. Yes. Levi Walsh. Shout out to you, Levi. Don't this is grand. I'll get it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this cutie pie. Figment. That figment looks suspicious to like the one that they have during Flower and Garden near Spaceship Earth. But he looks adorable just the same. As a cook. Wow, so in here we've got, this is the light lab. Where they've got some of those cool drinks. Look at this. This is super cool. I want to say this is new, but I can't say for certain. You've got some figment merchandise and like an explanation of how taste buds and smells and drinks look. So since this is one of the few times we're coming to Epcot since we moved here that we didn't go to the lounge because it was closed by the time we got here, we're going to go to the other top lounge in Epcot, Club Cool, and get my favorite drink ever. It's loud! We got the grill and the bone. The illumination. And I'm 
sweaty. <laughs> okay, this is wonderfully magical and all, but we just had the most delicious T-bone thing ever. Yeah, that was. And then this cast member came out of nowhere. Heaven. And she came from heaven, so it says. And give us two free croissant donuts. Food and wine. Food and wine. Everybody loves food and wine. We wanted to move here by food and wine, Sarah. Here we are. Eve's not used to us coming home before 10 p.m. She was sleeping when we got in the door. Look at that, yawn. You're sleepy. Hi, sweetie pie. Ooh, oh, stretches. <laughs> <laughs> Cover your eyes because it's so bright. You are the most adorable thing ever. We're back at home. He's making me nervous over there. We're at, we decided to sit on, the, on our little porch because at least if I, you can see the little bit of a. It's not supposed to storm, so that is like just straight up heat. Whoa. Ooh, we got that on camera. This is like straight heat lightning and thunder. Cause it's like a hundred, it feels like a hundred, almost a hundred degrees right now. Cause the humidity and heat. <laughs> so we're enjoying some, I got some wine going on and Sarah's got some lemonade. And we have another, um, we have two stickers to put on because yes. that lovely cast member came up and gave us the free cronut. Okay. I need to look at what this is. So the cronut. Actually, I don't know if that is a sticker because it's a refreshment stand, a yeah, refreshment port. One. Okay. That was so magical. It really was. She just walked up and was like, do you guys want these free cronuts? And I thought she was going to give us one like to share. And she gave us one each and she they were the last two and they were warm. Like, that would be awesome if they did that for all of the stations. <laughs> okay. And then Australia. Australia. I, Did so you we guys didn't know that my godmother lives in Australia and my cousins, but they actually just sold their farm and they are going to be moving back to America. Not and, all of them, just right. my godmother. But the, it was the, the grilled lamb T-bone and it was super good, it had this pesto sauce on it and it was just delectable. It was mint pesto and potato crunchies, but they were like um, salt and vinegar chips. Yes. So good. And while Sarah's finishing that, before we give say goodnight to you guys while we enjoy the rest of our evening out here, we got this um, 35 Years of Magic. It's the Mickey Monitor, which is the I think the quarterly magazine you get as an annual pass holder. And it's our first one, so we're gonna like read this entire book tonight. I just opened it, but neither of us have looked through it yet. And with that, a successful first day of winter money, huh? Yeah. Again, we went and um, for a Fat 5207 video for today, or for, I'm saying today, for Friday, um, we went to every single stand and showed what they had and the cost of all of the different things. So if you're interested in that, go and check that video out. It is good to be home and it is good to be Friday. Everybody keep your fingers crossed that as you're watching this, tweet us and find out, because this will probably go up earlier, if I've gotten out to work, out of work early, because everybody at work is saying that we're supposed to, there's a chance we may get, may get out of work early before five o'clock, which means more time for Fantasmic Fridays. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>